Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about the conversion of your JK flip-flop into uh, sorry D flip-flop into your JK flip-flop conversion from a D flip-flop into JK flip-flop that means so we have D flip-flop with us that D flip-flop needs to be converted into J and K okay uh, listen carefully in the previous video so we have seen the conversion of a JK flip-flop into different types of flip-flops so we have converted JK to SR, JK to T, JK to D now we have the conversion of a D flip-flop into JK flip-flop that means we have D flip-flop with us so D flip-flop we need to consider first this diagram is important before understanding the entire concept so D and this is the clock of course clock uh, the, sorry clock uh, it's a positive clock so clock this is Q and Q bar okay Q, Q bar okay same now we have this particular D flip-flop with us this D flip-flop has only one input but now in the conversion input we have in the converted flip-flop we should have two inputs J and K now we have an additional circuitry here additional logic circuitry to provide both J and additional logic circuitry K okay this is the expected circuit diagram from this conversion okay what are the external inputs for this conversion what are the external inputs for this converted flip-flop J and K what is the flip-flop input D okay so conversion from conversion from D flip-flop to JK flip-flop D flip-flop is there with us which has to be converted into JK flip-flop that is the meaning okay so this is the D flip-flop with us and now we have external inputs J and K so for which input we need to derive the boolean expression D okay so from the above logic circuit we have to identify the boolean expression identify the boolean expression for D in terms of J, K and QN J, K and QN J and K are the external inputs and whereas QN is the past output ok so the important thing is conversion table conversion table once if you understand that previous logic how to consider the flip-flop inputs then conversion table is very important to consider so first step in the conversion table first column is external input <coughs> first column is external inputs what are the external input external inputs sometimes it may be one input and sometimes it may be two inputs here in our case external inputs are two inputs here j and k suppose if it is reverse conversion jk to d flip-flop then external input only d flip-flop okay so here we have two inputs external inputs j and k as external inputs and along with this we have present state present state qn and next state qn plus 1 okay and we have the flip-flop input that is d flip-flop input which is nothing but D okay these are the columns that we should consider in this conversion table okay so actually above names are common for any uh, conversion table external external input present state next state and then people of inputs but the values are present state next state of course common qn qn plus one but the external inputs and the flip-flop input will be varied depending upon the type of the conversion okay so j and k and qn these are the three inputs now 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 i already i already told you in the previous example previous conversion 
here this particular conversion table involves two different tables one is the truth table another one is the conversion table and excitation table so here up to this next state it is the truth table of jk flip-flop truth table of jk flip-flop and the next two qn plus one qn and d will be the excitation table this will be the excitation table excitation table of d flip-flop okay so now consider zero zero when j and k are zero zeros it maintains the previous state so previous state is zero zero here it is one zero one output is zero zero one output is zero one zero output is one one zero output is one one more is there one 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 okay but uh, but for j and k are one one complement of the previous state it is one it is zero okay now coming to the excitation uh, table of the jk uh, d flip flop excitation uh, table from the d flip flop is nothing but whatever the output is the same will be the d flip flop because the d is nothing but output when clock is occurred clock raising edge or falling edge occurs output is equal to d input okay so the same qn plus one we are taking here zero zero one 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 and zero okay whatever the qn plus one we are taking the same as d because d flip flop says that output is equal to input when clock event occurs okay so now we have to write the boolean expression for this d flip flop so how many variable k map we should consider three input variable k map so k map for d in order to identify the boolean expression we should go for the k map okay so this is here we have qn qn plus 1 d so in order to identify d j and j q and qn must be considered so j k q n 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 so it is 0 1 0 0 okay so map all these values into the k map 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 so map these two as a product term and this one with this one so what is the expression for d now d is equal to from these two vertically k bar q n k bar q n plus and from here it is j and from above we have q n bar j q n bar okay so d is equal to k bar q n plus j q n bar now the logic diagram is our conversion diagram conversion diagram is the conversion diagram we need a d flip flop a d flip flop this is the d flip flop and this is the clock okay clock and q q bar these two are common q n is nothing but q here okay don't confuse in the expression it was q n but here we have q both are same okay so now what is the d here d is nothing but it's a combination of k bar q n plus j q n bar which is nothing but here we need two and gates we need two and gates and one or gate two and gates and one or gate and to invert this K, we need one not gate so the expression is so we need one and gate and we need one more and gate these two are given to the R gate the output of R gate is the D okay so here we have J as one input for this one so what is here J Q n bar J Q n bar and here it is k bar qn k bar qn so k bar means not gate we need to consider 
k and it is qn so qn is nothing but coming from the output of the same flip flop this is qn is nothing but q and here it is qn bar means second input second output this is the logic circuit that is needed to convert a d flip flop into jk flip flop logic circuit is very very important to convert so internally we are having this setup but additionally we can have only externally we can have only those two inputs along with clock okay so here we have q q bar and it is the clock of course clock will can be taken out so this is the clock so see the figure now j is available k is available clock is available and two outputs are available so simply it is jk flip flop and internally the lot of operation is going on that is what the conversion from one flip flop to another flip flop hope it is clear thank you